Hi comic book fans, welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video and today it is an unboxing video. I've got three parcels in the post today, two which I think are just single comics and one big one from a uh, VOT uh, auction that I attended last Friday that's just arrived in the post today. So here we go, uh, first one, just a single mailer, pull tab on it, pull tab worked, hooray. Um, and um, these are really good because I can reuse these. They're, they're fantastic for protecting comics. Um, uh, we've got double wrapped, okay. And is it two comics? Yes. Ah, it is two comics. Um, this is nice. This is um, a comic called Ragemore. And it's uh, Richard Corbin. Um, so I found these quite cheap on eBay. I've got a buyer uh, who's asked me for Richard Corbin stuff uh, at the next London Comic Mart. So I have been picking up stuff cheap, um, Richard Corbin stuff where I find it. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to sell it on to him at a small profit. Um, and if he doesn't take them, to be honest with you, I like Richard Corbin anyway. So um, these are really nice Richard Corbin covers here. Um, so I'll be fine if he doesn't take them. I'll put them in my personal collection or sell them to somebody else. Right. So that's the first one. Uh, Rage More by Richard Corbin. This next one, I know what this is going to be. This is going to be an Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips trade paperback. Um, I really like the Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips um, crime stuff, really dark uh, noir crime, um, and I read them. Okay, so I have bought a couple of these um, as readers, um, which I haven't read before. Um, this one came in the post, the, and the, you can pick these up, so second hand from World of Books and things like that. Um, so this one came in the post a couple of days ago. I've just about finished reading it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, it's like true Shakespearean tragedy. You know, these characters sort of destiny is written in their genetics. You know, there's virtually nothing they can do to avoid their fate because they're just following what their personality tells them to do. Um, really dark. Uh, there's sort of three stories in here, all interlinking, told from a different point of view in each story. Fantastic. Uh, and the one that just arrived um, is uh, uh, Bad Night. I haven't read this, but it's just arrived. Um, but I'm buying these to, to re as readers. Um, absolutely love these. Um, and those cost me sort of about two, three, three or four pounds each, I think. Um, right. So what have we got next? Next we've got the big parcel. So we've got a biggie. Uh, I think there's a couple of slabs in here. This is from uh, Mark at Nine Realms. Uh, he is one of my fellow uh, sellers on Vot. He's really good. He's got his own store um, up in Lancashire somewhere, I think. Stockport, I wanna say. I don't know. Anyway, it's somewhere up there. Um, Nine Realms Comics. Uh, he does a big show on Friday and it has some fantastic deals. I just, I spent all the money that I made on my VOT show, on his his VOT show. Um, so let's see, what did we get? I also got, he, I got some freebies from him as well. So some of these are freebies um, and some are um, ones I actually bought. Let's have a look. I remember there's some crackers in here. Um, I think this was this is this was a freebie. Uh, Jenis Vale Captain Marvel number one. Well, that's quite nice because I've got a few Captain Marvel number ones, but I haven't got that one. That's a more modern one. Uh, but that's really nice. So that was a that was a giveaway. Um, this one is Hulkling and Wigan. Okay, don't know much about that. Um, or is that Wiccan? Wiccan is one of the kids of uh, Red Scarlet Witch, um, so that was a that was a giveaway as well. Number one, I don't know anything about that particularly, and this was a giveaway as well. 
um, the excellent issue one, um, Peter Milligan, Michael Aldred. Again, don't know anything much about that. It was a giveaway. Okay, so onto the ones I actually paid money for, and not a lot of money. These are really good prices on these. Uh, this is Secret Wars number one, and it's a, a very, really nice sketch variant edition. Don't know how well that comes out, but it's um, a super sketch variant. I've got quite a few of the variants of Secret Wars 1, um, but I hadn't got that one. Um, it says Marvel Universe 1961 to 2015, RIP. <laughs> okay. Um, here we have got um, Batman. Uh, this is a Batman Reborn first issue, Batman and Robin. Is this? I think this is um, this is um, Batman's son as Robin, isn't it? Okay, so yeah, that one's uh, that one's a bit of a spec buy. Um, I've got. A, I hadn't got this issue. Oh, this is the latest run of I Hate Fairyland number one. I have got this, but in a different variant cover. Scotty Young's um, I Hate Fairyland. Right, these next two I've got. And, but they are a couple of my favourite Silver Surfer um, comics. Well, the first one is. Well, they both are, actually. This is uh, from a little mini-series. Um, and the artist is the French artist Mobius. And he did um, he did this little... He did the art on this. Look at this fantastic Galactus Silver Surfer cover. Absolutely magnificent. And they got number two as well. Um, and they got those for £15. That is a bargain. Um, and just let me check the condition of these. Look pretty good. Pretty good, damn, pretty good condition. Really pleased with those. Those are duplicates now. So I may, may get number one graded. Um, here we go. Uh, this is Midnight Suns Unlimited first issue. All new stories featuring Ghost Riser, Johnny Bla John Blaze, Darkhold, Night Stalkers and Mobius. Uh, really nice cover. I hadn't seen that before. Oh, right. And uh, I've been picking these up. These are the, I picked a few of these up from um, Nine Realms. These are these um, uh, lenticular covers. I don't know if that's working on the screen. Might be. Uh, DC had this phase of doing these lenticular covers um, and they did quite a few of them and really, really like them. <laughs> uh, so I'm collecting those, that sort of personal collection. Okay, here's a comic. Um, I actually sold this on my uh, whatnot, on uh, my vot or whatnot. Um, and this came up at um, on Mark's one and he was selling it um, at a really good price. So I picked another one up. These... Um, these uh, hip hop variants are great. Uh, this looks in. I think it's it's got a little bit of damage on the left hand bottom corner, but you know, um, for what I paid, that's reasonable. Okay, um, these are, these I pick up. I'm trying to collect the full series of these. Um, Mark had a couple I hadn't got, um, so I took them off his hands. This is Batman 66, uh, number 10, with Mr. Freeze on it. Yeah, I'm trying to get the full set of these. Um, and Batman 66, number 11. Great um, Cesar Romero as Joker on here. This Batman 66 series sort of, um, I think it's from about 2017. It sort of tried to recapture the uh, television series Batman. Um, really great, and I love the covers. Right, next up we've got, and I couldn't resist this, um, those of you who watch my channel will know that I um, had my Fantastic Four number two graded, uh, my last CGC grading, I was expecting it to come out as a 2.0 and it came out as a 3.5 and so when this he showed this which is a, um, uh, a sort of rehash of uh, Fantastic Four number two cover on Fantastic Four 554, it's a variant. I couldn't resist it. Okay. Um, next up, Batman Annual. For some reason, I had not got this Black Batman Annual. Um, so, you know, I do have my um, 
my comic listing on Go Collect up when I'm looking at these auctions to see if something comes up that I haven't got that I want for my collection. So um, a nice Batman annual here with Hugo Strange. Hadn't got that. It's in really nice condition. It's a modernish one. It's from 1986. Uh, but I hadn't got that, so that will go into my collection. Um, Blade Runner 2029 number one. Uh, Pe I think this is a Peach Momoko cover. Uh, and I like a bit of peach. There we go. Uh, Department of Truth, issue one. I think this is Department of Truth, issue one. Sixth printing. Sixth printing. <laughs> um, I have got a couple of Department of Truth number ones, third and fourth printing, I think. But I hadn't got a sixth printing. Um, and then Young Hellboy one. I like a bit of Hellboy. Um, this one I bought from him. I bought, I, I bought, and I bought one of these from him uh, last week. Um, and it's called, it's a series called Godzilla's Monsters and Predators. And he puts them up for a quid. And I'm the only person that's bought them. And they're photo, they're photo realistic covers. They're, well, they're photo covers from the movies. Um, and they, they sort of sell for sort of uh, ten to fifteen dollars. And he's putting them up at a quid, and nobody else is bidding. Uh, so hopefully it's Friday today. Hopefully he'll put another one of these up because um, at a pound, I'm going to buy them. Right, this next one was a real steal as well. This is um, Providence, uh, written by Alan Moore. Um, and I haven't got these, and I'm a big Alan Ford Moore fan, and these are pricey. Um, and again, this was up, he put this up at five pounds. Go and check this out. These, these sell for quite a lot of money. And it is in, yeah, it's in minty condition. Um, so yeah, anything Alan Moore is on my list. And then next, um, he sells them back issues of Ice Cream Man, which I missed out on the first time round, but he's selling them at less than cover price. So, you know, I'm going to pick up Ice Cream Man at less than cover price um, if Mark offers them up. And I picked three or four of them up for him last time, at sort of two or three pounds each. Right, then we're on to, I think I bought, did I buy one slab? Yeah, one slab. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a bargain. Yeah, one slab. Um, this is uh, a stray dog's number. What well, stray dog's number? Stray dog's number four. Um, I think this is the third printing. So this is <laughs> stray dog's number four, third printing. Um, and it's a 9.8. So I'm going to take it out of its um, bag. So it's absolutely pristine. Um, and I think you, I think I paid about 32, 34 pounds for this, which is you know just to, to get it slabbed costs you 30. Um, so you know, um, and these come these uh, stray dogs, um, I think are going to uh, they they did zoom up, they come back down. Um, but I think that when we get a Stray Dogs TV series or movie, these will go zooming back up again. So a 9.8 at, at only fractionally more than um, it costs to get the thing slabbed, um, I think was a good deal. Yeah, so... Um, so thank you very much to uh, Mark at uh, Nine Realms. Go and check him out. Don't buy the cheap, not cheap stuff he does on Friday night. Because <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I like bidding on that. Um, so some really great stuff there. Some nice, uh, some nice giveaways as well. Um, that's your lot. See you again soon.